Hi, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This week, uh, the trout have been coming in pretty steady. We've been getting live croaker. Um, they're still small, but they have been working. All down Lillian has been catching good trout. Uh, work the edges of the grass, and all the way down to quarantine. Uh, been good numbers of trout all through here early in the mornings. And you just work it all the way back around. Uh, Trailer Island's been holding uh, good numbers of trout. Uh, been good links on them between 19s and 20s. Uh, we do have that new limit size, uh, three trout, 17 to 23. Uh, no fish over the size of 23. So all the way down from quarantine down to Trout Bayou has been holding good trout. There are a lot of trout working this edge right now. Uh, so early in the mornings, we've been working that. As the day heats up, uh, we've been coming on the inside of Estes Flats and coming on back around towards Trout Bayou back here in this skinny water. Uh, there have been good numbers of redfish. We've been catching our redfish on cut mullet or cut Manhattan or cut ladyfish even. But all this sand pocket back here in the back up on this shallow flat has been holding good numbers of, good numbers of redfish. Uh, if you come back over into Big Bayou, there have been good good uh, little numbers of black drum through here on just a piece of shrimp and a lead head. You can work all this edge over here in Big Bayou. There uh, have been good numbers of black drum. There have been some redfish over here also. Um, but if you get back here on this back edge in the skinny water with your cut bait or your live mullet or even your um, mud minnows, have been catching good numbers of redfish all back here in this skinny water up on these reefs. We've also, early in the morning with live croaker, just depending which way that wind is blowing, if it's blowing out of the southeast, get over here on this west end, uh, up on this Harbor Island flat. Uh, there have been good numbers of trout running all this whole edge, and if it's blowing out of the north like it was a couple days ago, well, they can get back on the east side of this shoreline. Uh, good numbers of trout, uh, some good size quality trout all running down this edge. Uh, also, if you don't just get them right there, there have been a lot of good trout over here on the point of Ransom all the way down to the point of Dagger. So I've been getting in about three, four foot of water and throwing towards the bank. There's a big grass um, patch that runs this whole island through here. So I try to stay out of the grass, just work the edges of it. But there have been some good size trout. We've been releasing 24s and 25s. Uh, so all through here has been some good trout early in the morning on live croaker. Um, as the day heats up, these little islands up on the point of ransom, there's been good numbers of redfish using our cut bait and just working these little islands and these edges. Uh, also over here on this rock uh, wall that they built here a few years ago been holding good numbers of redfish um, right here in the middle where these broken islands are been good numbers of redfish through here so get you some cut bait cut, catch you some ladyfish have some live mullet um, that has been the ticket on the redfish uh, also if you want to come on inside and start working up against the ICW these chains of islands and up on these spoil banks, been good numbers of redfish. If you find the mullet or find the bait, you're going to find them redfish. They're all up through here. Uh, you might have to make a couple bounces and, and make sure you check your tides. You need water flow to get these fish to eat. When there's no flow, the bite comes very hard. So check your tides. That's the main thing. A lot of good fish working all around Redfish Bay, and the Dagger area. Another good place to target these trout early in the morning is coming over here to Mud Island. Mud Island's holding good trout right now. Uh, live croaker is a ticket. Uh, they are a little smaller, but they are getting bigger. Uh, work this edge about four to five foot of water, and they've been good numbers. Just make sure you pop them out of that grass. Try not to constantly reel the baits because you will kill them uh, if you get it that north wind like we had a couple days ago then get back on the back side of it 
Man, good numbers of trout all around Mud Island right now. And as the day heats up, well, then get our cut mullet or cut ladyfish or cut Manhattan and start working these edge and these little lakes that come in, these little cuts. Uh, man, good numbers of redfish uh, working all this little area. Just go in real slow with your trolling motor. I've been seeing a lot of reds telling. So look for the signs of bait. Look for the signs of fish. Uh, if you see them them red fish starting to move that water, try to move up on them real stealthy. Because once you catch one or two of them, they get real spookish and they'll and they'll move off. So if you got a couple people in the boat, once you find a school, have somebody watch that school and make sure they're not just being pushed away where you can't find them again. That is the ticket to catch fish and have a full box. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.